Today we're going to talk about cross joins and when they should be used. All right, so the cross join is one of the more, most seldom used joins. And that's because it creates what's called a Cartesian product. So let's see what that means. I have a couple tables here. So we're going to select from a products table. And we're going to select from a uh, division table. And let me run those together. So the products table has three products, soap, toothbrush, and shampoo. And the divisions table has two divisions, north and south. If we want to bring every combination together of products and divisions, we would use the cross join. So let's write this out. So we select from a products and then we cross join. And we're going to cross join with divisions. Now in every other join we always put an on clause in order to say what we're joining on. In the cross join we don't care. The cross join should give us every combination of uh, the two tables. So let's run that. And what we see here is basically on the division side we had north and we had south. And so we have north and then it actually joined to all of the products, the soap, the toothbrush, and shampoo. And then we have south, and it joined to the soap, the toothbrush, and the shampoo. And so the real question here is, when is this useful? There's, there's been times where people have done cross joins or forgot their on clause on joins, and which does a similar thing. And if you have 100,000 records on one side, and you have 40,000 records on the other side, it's going to do a Cartesian product, which basically means you're going to take 100,000 times 40,000 and return all those rows. So the cross join can be something that really takes a lot of resources on the server if used incorrectly. But there's one instance where I use cross joins, and I, I use it more on the DAX side of things, but it can be useful here in SQL also. So let's take a look at when we should, you know, we can use it and when it will be helpful to us. So let's take a look at a different table. I have a table called budget out there. And this table has a department, a budget year, and the yearly amount of the budget. So what happens if you want a monthly budget, if you want to allocate this out to a month? So the sales department in this case for 2021 has a $48,000 yearly budget. But what if we want to allocate that out to each month so that you can see what it is monthly and you could compare it to actual sales per month, right? Same thing for accounting here. It's got the 12,000. What if we want to go ahead and uh, allocate that one out? Well, that's where the cross join will come in. Now we can't do cross join without the other table that we need here. So let's introduce another table we have. And uh, it's called months. So I put another table together that has just the 12 months of the year. And now if we want to spread our budget out over all the months, we can simply do a cross join. So we'll take the budget, we'll do a cross join to months. Let's see what that gives us. All right, so now for like the sales department, we have the budget year and we have the budget amount across all the months. The problem here is that we took the yearly amount and we just have the same yearly amount for each month. Well, that's not correct. That was 48,000 for the full year. So we have to do something else here. So let's add a new column and we'll call it uh, budget monthly amount and in here this column we're actually going to take the budget yearly amount and we are going to divide it by 12. let's see what happens here 
and we have now allocated out our yearly budget into a monthly amount. So for sales for the month, which one would be January, we have 4,000 and that is spread across the whole year. If you summed up all that 4,000, you would get back to the 48,000 yearly amount. If we go down to accounting, accounting had a $12,000 yearly budget, but we spread it out across all 12 months and it's a thousand across all 12 months. And operations had a $240,000 uh, yearly amount. And for each month that became 20. So that's a use case for the cross join. That's where I've used it. Um, it can be helpful in that, this instance, but it's not used very often. As always, if you find this helpful, please leave a comment below, click the like button, or subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com or LinkedIn. And I hope you enjoyed this video.